I tried to, you know, this this word old, I tried to modify that. Uh, older is, I would prefer that, but I can't seem to convince too many people. Uh, you know, we all have good days, bad days. Uh, the question is, how do we know the difference? Here's some of the ways you can tell. You jump out of bed in the morning and miss the floor. You turn on the morning news and they're showing emergency routes out of your city. Your bar of ivory soap sinks. You put both contact lenses in the same eye. That one hurts. Huh? Your horn gets stuck when you're following a group of Hells Angels on the freeway. Your four-year-old grandson wakes you up with the news that it's almost impossible to flush a grapefruit down the toilet. Your twin sister forgets your birthday. You wake up to discover that your water bed broke and then you realize that you don't have a water bed. Your income tax refund check bounces. And finally your doctor tells you, you that you're allergic to chocolate. Anyway, that's how you know you're having a really, really bad day. I think we're ready back there. Well, you see, here we got two growing old uh, performances uh, back to back here. And uh, Gaylene is going to tell you her version of the woes of growing old. And uh, after you're through, you're just going to laugh. Gaylene. There's woes and growing old. You know you're in trouble when you're asked to slow down by your doctor and not the police. <laughs> this getting old is something else. It's the first time I've ever been old. It just sort of crept up on me. You don't get to practice, but there were signs. Random hair growth. <laughs> That's special. <laughs> Particularly when you go to brush the hair off your lapel and you discover it's still attached to your chin. <laughs> Large, non life threat skin growths grow large enough to name after deceased pets and relatives. <laughs> and neck tissue seems to develop a life of its own. <laughs> I was afraid to leave the house the whole week before Thanksgiving. <laughs> jog once, 
just makes the wine jump right out of your glass. <laughs> the only good thing is now you can get rid of all those unopened diet and exercise books. Then the memory goes. My granddaughter came to visit me and she said, Grandma, did you know you have a suppository sticking out of your ear? <laughs> I pulled it out, looked at it, and it suddenly dawned on me where my hearing aid might be.
you're over the hill when you and your teeth no longer sleep together. <laughs> and that reminds me of my most recent marriage. We got married on Friday. My man was right there beside me. Our friends were all gone, and we were alone, side by side. We were happily wet when he got ready for bed. Then his teeth and his hair, he laid on the chair. there for 